Hello, hello. As you know, I, yesterday it's, I told you that we are going to Chandidasa, but the morning started actually with information, with a, with a call from our boatman that there is a big waves in Chandidasa. Here in Ahmed, we also have some wave drop. It doesn't look that big, but I can feel that on the other side of the island, they are definitely way bigger than here. Already here in Chandidasa, the waves is not that bad anymore as we walk to the Made. Woo! Little bit, yeah, like it's because the high tide is coming, it's still some waves, but if you look there, Mimpang and uh, Tepekong, it's not that bad wave. Uh, it's 27 of May when I'm recording it, it's a full moon and who knows, who knows, maybe the round fish is coming and visiting us. Let's see. It was a bit challenging to get in the boat. There was a big wave close to the shore. Because the water was 23 degrees, I was really hoping for Mola Mola. A little bit murky water, especially in a sandy area, because of the big waves. It, uh, it stirred up everything from the bottom, so that's why not really good visibility. Later on we moved to the, to the wall. There was still hope to see the Mola Mola. Didn't happen it, but the reef as always is really beautiful and so many fishes and other stuff. The second dive we will do Tepekong, which is on my back, there. 
uh, we will dive into the what is it blue hole you don't really need the torch there as well it's just simply you swim through you start at like 50 meter depth and the exit is on 25 then we will rock around there maybe we will see mola there but anyways the mola mola season just just started here in Chandidasa mola season starts mostly um, at August at the moment it's just the uh, end of May beginning of June so not really a right time but it's a full moon the water is 24 degrees and there is a hope so let's hope that was nice that was nice i was so exciting when we see that's a slope or how wall. It's the wall yeah yeah it was really and cool. when we look up there was a kind of storm yeah the waves crashing on the island yes and it's so like meditation to look at this yeah. i like it so much but it's very uh i every time uh, wants to see this moonfish or how to mola 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 but yeah, then you have when you will when you will be back then we will go again okay let, can you can you call her order the yeah, mula, mula, so. mula and we just and then you just come back in october and we will see it october okay right down <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> Trying out the T Max. T Max is, is if you're looking at all these Maxes, it's N Max, X Max, and T Max. T Max is the biggest one. It's 550 cc. Really stable. Really stable. You can even like stop. Are you free for the day? <laughs> 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 That's the technologies, yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 
Our trip to Chandidasa is over, back to Ahmed already. And in the morning there was actually a question we will dive or not. But then we get into the water and we understood it's actually not a good visibility, but it was super amazing and a lot of fishes. As always, in a really good company, Chandidasa is like a special place where we bring only people who who are comfortable with the diving, so that's why we don't have to care too much about houses. We can just simply enjoy the diving as well. All the mountains start to look a little bit brownish. That's how it usually happens during this time. Thank you very much for watching me today again. Follow, subscribe, Instagram and Facebook. And see you tomorrow again. Bye.